you guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Max's Best Bootcamp TV. Excited to have you here. Excited to inspire you and motivate you to get your butt moving and get off the couch and, and live a, a fitness active lifestyle. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. I want to actually introduce my guest. I've got Rich Miner here from Rich Miner in the Morning Show. Thanks for coming down, my man. What's going on? Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we'll talk a little bit about fitness, and, and we got a, a, a sneak peek at a calendar that's going to be available locally. That, that you are in. Yes. So uh, <laughs> that's pretty exciting right there. Um, so, but you guys, I want to start off the show with a quote. Check this one out. So the quote is, good things come to those who wait, greater things come to those who are willing to work for it. And isn't that the truth right there? So look, right now, you may be in a little bit of a slump. Maybe you're at a standstill. Maybe you're you know, pretty dialed into your fitness, but we could all set new goals. And once you reach those goals, it's time to reset and reach some new goals. So wherever you're at in your fitness journey, this show is designed to help you out, you guys. We got a workout, a 20 minute at home workout that we're gonna show you a little bit later. I've got a healthy recipe uh, clip for you. And at the end, we'll do some questions that I get from uh, our viewers and, and uh, personal training clients all the time. So Rich, talk to me about uh, this calendar. How did this come out? Because it's a pretty cool thing. The, the viewers have never heard of this before. So tell us. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, it, it's a uh, Nutty AQ Men of Greater Danbury uh, 2015 calendar. So, uh, you know, we, uh, we have bunches and lots and lots of uh, female listeners and a lot of male listeners as well. So what we wanted to do is we were like, going, OK, do we do a calendar with the women or do we do a calendar with the guys? So we opted to do a calendar with the guys. Great uh, choice. We, okay, yeah, right, exactly. Good. And we did, uh, we did casting calls. And people came out, and you know, it was kind of uh, it was kind of weird. Uh, I don't want to say weird, but uh, it, it was funny on our end because we were just taking the photos that were just going to go up on our website for you know our listeners and anybody else to vote on them. And we said, okay, during the casting call, during the casting yeah. call, yeah. And we said, okay, you know, whatever you think gets you more votes. If you want to leave your shirt on, you can. If you want to take your shirt off, you can. Right. So it's supposed to be a a, a shirtless calendar. So some did both and uh, we had listeners go to our website and we had uh, close to 5,000 votes okay. on all of the guys cool. and then basically the top 12 made the calendar. Yeah. And then from there, uh, we hooked up with a great uh, photographer. We hooked up with uh, Laura Landau, and she. Uh, yes. Uh, we went around to several places around Greater Danbury and uh, shot the calendar. And uh, it's all for charity, so 100% uh, of the proceeds go in there. So we're excited about that. And what's the charity? The charity is the Movember Foundation. And uh, what's great is uh, a lot of the guys, uh, you know, uh, the top 12, the guys that are in the calendar, they were saying that they, um, they had some kind of connection with this charity and they really liked uh, that we chose this charity. The Movember Foundation, they're the ones who inspire the no shave November with the guys growing the beards and the facial hair and everything. And oh, that's them. Yeah, okay. that's them. They uh, they've uh, funded programs that basically uh, save the lives and make it easier for men uh, with prostate cancer, testicular cancer, and mental health issues. So they branched out. They've done things uh, tremendous work in this country and in other countries as well. So all the proceeds going to be going to the Movember Foundation. We figured it's a men calendar, so why not the money go to? Yeah, it's cool. So, yeah. All right, awesome. And um, uh, we actually have, uh, Rich, you brought the calendar here, a sneak peek. It's not even available yet. Um, uh, so let's, uh, let's take a little sneak peek right here. Thanks for bringing this down. Well, you are Mr. January. I did not make the cover. Uh, this is, uh, who's this? <laughs> That's Chris. That's we, Chris. We figured it was only fair to give the person who he was number one. He got the most one. votes. Good yeah. for him. And bam, we got January in the house. I can't show you too much. Uh, who is this guy? Uh, so very cool. Uh, so that will be available in the area. All proceeds, 100% of the proceeds are going to that Movember Foundation. So uh, how can uh, our viewing audience take advantage of that? Well, you know, we were talking to that. Yeah, we were talking, uh, you know, I guess at, at, at taping of, of this show right here. We haven't done the first um, I guess launch party if where you it's going to be available for for uh, for anyone to grab it. Correct, correct. Yeah. We're doing that uh, just 
you know, it happens to be Max 40. At Max 40, Mars. okay. <laughs> so that's coming up. Uh, and then the other place is... The uh, other one's going to be Plato's Closet, uh, Newtown Road in Danbury. That's going to be uh, Saturday, right after the Thanksgiving uh, holiday weekend. So okay. uh, I think that's November 29th. We're going to be there from noon to 2. There you go. Yep. And that's the only times these will be available. We're going to have them at the 90 AQ Studios. Uh, we're on Mill Plain Road. Okay. Um, we're going to have them probably into maybe the second or third week of December. But at some point, we do want to cut it off so that we can cut the check and get everything to the Movember Foundation. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Hey, you guys, uh, so if you can, if you're around in the area, go ahead and stop by any of those places and, and support it. I think it's a good cause. And... Um, you know, you'll end up with a, a pretty fancy little calendar right there. <laughs> um, hey, uh, now look, it's a holiday themed show. I know you saw the Christmas tree in the background. Uh, whatever holidays that you'll be celebrating, we want you to spend time with your family, catch up, uh, and, and maybe take a little breath uh, from life. You know, we're coming to the, towards the end of the year. This is the time where either you're really slacking on your fitness or you're thinking about really you know, amping up. And so, but we're really busy during the holidays. I know I am myself. So that's why I've designed this at home 20 minute holiday burn workout for you. Check it out. It's the holidays and you're busy, but you still got to get in that workout. That's why I've designed this 20 minute at home holiday burn workout. This time, I've got superstar trainer Randy in the house. What's up, my man? How you doing? Thanks for coming out, for shooting the video. Guys, all you need for this workout is a pair of kettlebells or a pair of light dumbbells that you may have at home and your body weight. We got four moves. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's get into this. Working some renegade rows, fantastic full body exercise, a little extra core and upper body element happening here. Randy's working the two kettlebells. Notice he's got the flat lower back. And a lot of times what we see when you get tired or you just haven't had much experience with this move, the lower back starts to dip, show us a couple of those. Oh man, nothing but back pain from that. Okay, so always air with the hips up a little bit. And then what we do is squeeze the cheeks together, tuck the hips down nice and tight and he's pressing down on one as he's pulling the other one up, okay? And then as you can see, Randy, hold one for us on this side. Elbows tight near the body, okay? He's not winging out to the side. Nice, that's move number one. Move number two, touch jacks. We're gonna get a little cardio working here and get a little burn through the inner and outer thighs. He's working the legs in and out, okay? So notice, give us a little side profile there, Randy. He's still keeping that back flat as he drops down to the ground. Now, if this is too much impact for you, you can go ahead and step out version. Randy, face the camera for us. We're gonna show a little step out, step out, okay? If you get tired, this is how you're gonna default. Otherwise, you're just cranking them out. Move number three, clean and press. Now, this is where you're gonna need those kettlebells or those dumbbells that you have. You're gonna work from the ground up, total body. He's starting from the ground, he's gonna clean him up, dip and drive him overhead. He's getting some power through the legs. Now, like I said, if you don't have uh, kettlebells at home, you use those dumbbells, that's gonna work out fine. Not nearly as badass looking or effective, but still pretty darn good, and you're still gonna get that workout in. Move number four, we got the sprinter punches. Instead of going out for a little sprint outside, if it's cold outside, or you, you know, you're right in the comfort of your home, you can still get that heart rate up. He's going sprinters in place, high knees, and he's throwing the punches, working a little cardio and core as he's getting that heart rate up, burning fat and calories. As he gets tired, he's gonna just march it out, check the march, and he's also got a little skipping action. Little skipping action, little less impact, 
on the knees or if you get tired. Nice. Now we're gonna take you through in real time. Let's do this. I am. Nice. <clears throat> All right, you guys, we're about to get into this real time. Remember, it's those four exercises back to back for up to a minute each. And then once you complete the circuit, you're gonna take up to a minute rest and then repeat three times for a total of four rounds. Including that rest, that's gonna take you 20 minutes and you'll be good to go, baby. Three, two, one, hit it. Also, another thing we're looking for is his vision is straight down here, you guys. We don't want to strain the neck, okay? So he's keeping his back neutral, straight body line. Woo! Looking good. Now, he's got his feet nice and wide apart as you progress with this move to make the weight that you're using even harder. You can bring the feet a little closer together. But we like them nice and wide, this way you can go a little heavier on that weight. Nice. And he's really trying to fight the rotation on this one. You're gonna wanna just open up, but it's actually more core working as you fight the rotation on this movement, okay? Get another couple seconds here. Almost there, Randy, looking strong. Pushing on one, pulling on the other. Nice. Three, two, one, time. Good, he's gonna leave those right there. Coming up, touch jacks, as many as you can do. Oh, yes. Now, when you go from strength move to cardio back to back, you're really getting the benefits of building that lean muscle and burning a lot of calories, okay? So we're revving that metabolism up. Now, Randy's gonna try and do as many as he can right here in that time frame. He's gonna keep breathing, keep moving. Looking good. We love jumping jack variations, you know? And this one has got a little extra coordination element to it, which is good. It's good for your clients or good for you at home. We can add that little, little mind work and get a little stronger mentally and physically. Good, five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. All right, he's gonna go right to those kettlebells again, working a little clean and press. Hit it. Bam. Nice. Now, if you've got some experience with the kettlebells, you can actually do a pre-swing back instead of going from the ground like he's showing right here to make this even a little trickier. You can actually swing them back, not put them down, clean and press. Otherwise, learning this movement is a very complex series of movements. So we usually start from the ground, clean it, dip and drive it overhead. Nice. And another thing you can do, as we showed you before, is use those dumbbells. We have about 15 seconds left. It's really burning. His heart rate is cranking right now. I'm seeing that glisten, the sweat. <laughs> Keep putting in that work. It's paying off. Every rep counts, you guys, and that's why we do these short, intense workouts. 20 minutes and you'll be done. You just keep thinking about those goals. Time. All right. And last but not least, sprinter punches. <laughs> oh man, love these. Now these are way more fun than going out for that, you know, long run and actually gonna burn a lot more calories. Now he's also got the skipping version, but uh, for Randy that's gonna be a little too easy, so he's gonna keep going with the sprinters. Nice try, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, it's burning good. Yeah, 30 seconds left on this round. And then gonna keep throwing those punches. Heart rate's cranking. That's the point, guys. Short, intense workouts. Gonna boost that metabolism up. Got another about 10 seconds to go on this thing. Now this is when you really want to just stop. But guess what? This is where you make your progress right now. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time! Nice, brother. Nice. Looking good. Hey, guys, that was real time, one round. We want you to do four rounds total, so repeat that thing three times. Right now, just grab a little drink and hit it again. Thank you for checking out this video, you guys. Happy holidays. 
put this in your back pocket. You can use this even when it's not holiday time and you don't have time to get go to the gym or go see your trainer. Um, so have an awesome holiday season, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Woo, there you go, you guys. A little at-home workout. Now, you can do that at the gym, too. And um, with those kettlebells, not all of you have kettlebells at home. Totally understand. You can work those moves with a pair of dumbbells as well. So uh, there you go. That's a little workout for you. Uh, we always give you some tips here to step up your fitness. And uh, speaking of which, actually, Rich came down to the boot camp uh, last week. <laughs> and here's a clip that we just some fun shots we were taking. I think there's a... Uh, before and after shot here too. Is that you? Oh my God, in one workout? No, that's not him, you guys. That was a total ah, joke. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that was coming. I know, I thought I'd spring that on you. Oh, a little flex shot, nice. So yeah, we were working the ropes. Yeah. Sled push, nice, looking strong right there. And just showing off now with some sandbags, good. There we go. Nice. Oh man, that was fun times right there. <laughs> that was good. Got in a good workout, and um, you you actually are you're pretty active. You, you're, you're going to the gym, and you've been active uh, with soccer as a kid. Yeah, growing up, I, I ever since uh, the age of five, I uh, played soccer. I mean, all the way yeah. through high school, and then kind of stuck with it. Uh, refereed soccer, and then uh, and coached soccer for a number of years. So. All right. Got that background, I guess. So, but just staying active, man, mm -hmm. and that's really so so key. And to our viewers at home, you know, listen, movement is great. Okay, so if you find something that you like, uh, we have a lot of members that you know they like Zumba or just going dancing. That's great. That's not a workout. Okay, there's, there's no resistance training there. You're not going to be burning fat doing these things. But movement adds up. At the end of the day, if you're standing a lot, and Rich, we were talking about this. You stand during your broadcast. I do. I'm very, I'm very which is cool because you're, yeah. you know, sitting for more than 20 minutes can actually slow your metabolism down. So just getting up, just get up, move around. I'm very animated. So you know, with the crazy. You are. That, well, we're, yeah, no, you are. With the crazy <laughs> things that we talk about on the yeah. air, you know, I'm going like that, and uh, yeah. I must work up. I, I don't want to say I work up a sweat, but I, I, I have the. Uh, the studio is almost ice cold. The, yeah. the air conditioner is running sure. even in the winter. So. Yeah, but the movement <laughs> adds up, right? So that's the key, all right? And then you get in that workout. Uh, we recommend three times a week of resistance training, sort of like the workouts that we were showing you. Um, and uh, the other key is eating clean, you guys. And we've got an awesome recipe for you right now. It's our recipe tip of the week. Check it out. Step away from the Bisquick, because today we're making pancakes. pancakes. All right, you guys, I've got Alicia here again, and we are teamed up to bring you a Max Approved Protein Pancake. So easy, Alicia, what's going on? Woo, this was super easy, and I have to tell you, after making a lot of these pancakes, I definitely give them a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Super good. So totally approved, guilt-free pancakes that you can make and whip them up in like two minutes flat. For the dry ingredient lineup, we've got a quarter cup of Max's toasted almond protein powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of nice ground cinnamon, and a pinch of nutmeg. And we're gonna put in just a pinch of salt. We'll get all of those dry ingredients into a medium bowl and run our whisk through it just to break up any of the particles. Now we're onto the wet ingredients. Two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter cup of unsweetened coconut milk. Put all the wet ingredients into another medium-sized bowl and whisk away. And last but not least, we put the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Now look, here's a tip at home. Since we're not cooking with any gluten here, we're just using the protein powder, you don't have to be as cautious when you're mixing the wet and the dry ingredients as you would be if you were doing a normal recipe. And the other thing is, we're using my patented recipe of protein powder. Uh, if you don't have my protein powder available to you yet, um, you can use a very pure source of whatever protein powder that's your favorite. And now on our hot griddle, we'll put on some butter to make it easier to flip our pancakes so they don't stick. You know the pancakes are ready to flip when you start to see the bubbles forming on top.
we're gonna whip up a quick sauce for you guys that's totally approved as well. It's a super simple sauce. One pint of fresh strawberries, the juice of half a lemon, and one tablespoon of local honey. You don't like strawberries? Can use another kind of fruit. Blueberries. Raspberries. Mangoes. Peaches. Bananas. Pineapple. Any other fruit that you like, this sauce will work. Man, are you kidding me? How good do those look? And you're gonna love these at home. Definitely give them a shot. Alicia, great job on these. Thank you, and I love it's guilt-free. How great is that? And you know, this is a perfect example of making a recipe that you thought would never be healthy or max approved, totally approved, and actually good for you. So go ahead, give these a shot, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Oh baby, those are yummy. And look whose Sunday breakfast just got a little healthier. That's right, yours did. Um, go ahead, try those, you guys. They are delicious. And if you, you see from the recipe, it looks just like pancakes. You could totally fool the entire family and guilt-free. Um, so uh, give those a shot. Let us know how you like those. Um, and you know, talking about food, Rich, what's going on uh, with the food? I know you've been, you're staying pretty active. Tell us, you know, what's what's the deal with uh, am, food coming in? Yeah, we were talking at the, you know, at your boot camp about this too. You know, I, I I like to work out. I'm actually one of those that doesn't see working out as like a chore or anything. I like to work out, but I like to eat too. Right. So, I could I could definitely eat better okay and eat healthier I know like cleaner right absolutely yeah and we all can and that's okay and no one eats perfect all right and that you don't have to it's kind of like 80% of the time uh, mostly um, you know during the week this is what we like to do mm -hmm. so um, during the week if you're really good uh, better making some great choices mm -hmm. during the week you go out on the weekend with some friends and um, you know that's when maybe you'll divulge but uh, most of the time if you stay on track uh, during the week and you have, you know, veer off a little bit during the weekend. Not the entire week, it's not total debauchery, okay? <laughs> um, but you, you can stay pretty on track like that. And uh, that's something that you've got to find the balance that's right for you. Um, and Rich, uh, the other thing that you were telling me is, besides the diet, is uh, you were working with a trainer. So you had some, how did that go with you? Was that recent? That was... Uh, you know, I actually got a trainer about uh, 10 years ago. Right. And I've always said, uh, I've said it so many times for the past 10 years, it was the best money I ever spent. Yeah. You know, and I've, uh, I've had a couple of trainers, you know, here and there over the past 10 years. And uh, You know any good trainers around here? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I really like, I stopped by the boot camp and I love the, I mean, I love everything about it. I love the setup. You guys got a great, uh, yeah. You Very know I mean? cool. You, you know, you, you got a great uh, community, almost a great uh, family of people there because I see the pictures on Facebook too. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, it, it actually looks like people are having a fun time. It doesn't look like they're being put, you know. Right. <laughs> right. You know. And that's, it, it, you got to have fun. Like every workout, we're, we're throwing high fives, we're smiling, and that's really the key. I mean, how, you know, when we worked out together that mm -hmm. day when you came to the boot camp, how there's no way to actually keep that up if, you know, you're not, you're sweating and you know you're working, but to, to really keep that up is, is difficult if you're not having any fun at all. Um, but part of the thing with the trainer, you were saying, you were held really accountable, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, if, if, you're, if you're doing things that uh, are, are only going to uh, halt your progress or are just gonna be counterproductive, you know, it's not worth it, you know? So, yeah. uh, you know, just like, just like you've told the viewers on the show here, you know, you gotta do a good, mixture of, of not only the staying active, but you know, the good recipes and, and yeah. exercising that control, if you will, and, and what food goes into your body at home. So yeah, you know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to, uh, you know, spend the money for that uh, gym membership or for that boot camp or for that trainer, whatever it is for each individual person and yeah. not, you know, follow through on your end and, right. you know, at least make the effort to eat a little bit better. I know it's hard, you know, yeah, like I said, sure. I, I could eat a little bit better, but just yeah. baby steps, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's a lifestyle approach. And you guys, that's what it's all about. And being that this is a holiday uh, themed show, um, we've got a question that comes in all the time. This time of year <laughs> is gonna be on our segment right now. It's the Ask Max segment.
It's holiday time, you're super busy. The question is, Max, how can I stay on track during the holiday season? And you know, uh, so many of you watching this are feeling that question, I know. And I'm feeling it too this time of year, okay? We're all super busy, uh, you've got stuff to do. Um, but just like any other time in life, you have to find your balance. And this time of year is, you know, it's crunch time, uh, nothing like a deadline, but uh, I tell you what, um, making the time to prioritize yourself is always worth it because then you can spend more quality time um, with the people that you love, uh, your family and your friends. Um, so the first tip that I have for you to stay on track during the holidays is program your workouts into your phone. Put it in your phone calendar, set that appointment, and if you're really dedicated, you don't cancel that, you show up. And we find that three times a week uh, is the sweet spot or more. So when you do get it in, make sure it's a good intensity for you and you will continue to stay on track. You keep those appointments um, and that's going to keep you on track. The other tip is number two, at all these holiday parties that you have going on right now and through the holiday season, very easy to get off track. And you know, getting off track one day leads to another day and another day. And all of a sudden, you just went two months, you know, eating terribly and not working out. Um, so the best thing to do other than keeping your workout routines regular, at least right, three times a week or more, is when you go to these parties, bring something that's a healthier option that you will eat and maybe you'll inspire some other people to eat too. And I always go for more filling up on some of the good stuff that's available at the party, if there is even any, hopefully. Um, and then you'll be a little more full for when some of the other sweets come around. And you don't have to totally deprive yourself at all. If you can have a little piece of the cake, you're gonna have it, but remember, you're still getting those workouts in. Um, and the other thing is just to enjoy the celebration. We're so ingrained that we need to eat to enjoy and have a good time, but you're gonna have some of the food, but enjoy the time with your family and friends. I mean, spread the love and just enjoy the experience of it. You don't need to reward yourself with all these sugary sweets. Uh, so that's really how you're gonna stay on track this holiday season. Uh, so with that, I want to wish you a really happy holiday season. As always, thank you for tuning in. Rich, thanks for coming down today, my man. Thanks, really man. appreciate it. Happy holidays to you and your family. You as well. Um, and thank you, as always, for tuning in, you guys. Have a great day.